When we look at division of polynomials, we're going to look at, look at it in three objectives. One is to look at a monomial divided by a monomial. The next is to look at a polynomial, many terms, divided by a monomial. We'll do that in this seg segment. In the final segment, we'll take a polynomial and divide it by a polynomial. That's a little bit more challenging. What's going to be in this segment is not too bad. Please remember that when you divide with monomials, and the bases are alike, that y to the fifth divided by y to the second is equal to y to the third because you subtract their exponents. The reason for that, y to the fifth looks like this in longhand, and y to the second looks like this in longhand. I'm going to grab my red pen. And y over y is 1, y over y is 1. I can reduce those. That leaves me with y to the third when I write that in shorthand. So when I take a monomial and divide it by a monomial, the variable factors within that, I will subtract their exponents. But their numerical coefficients, the 25 and the 5 here, are just like regular fractions, and you would just reduce them if you can. So you would say 5 divides into here once, and 5 divides into there 5 times. So the coefficient in your answer will be 5. But this x to the third divided by x to the second is x to the first, because you subtract those exponents. So my final answer for this is 5x to the first. Please remember, we don't tend to write that one. Um, the next one that I'd like to share with you just has some bigger values, some different exponents. A negative 75, a to the tenth, divided by 3, a to the second. So the coefficients can be reduced. 3 goes into here once and into here 25 times. That coefficient will be a negative 25. I take these two whose bases are alike and I subtract their exponents. 10 minus 2 is 8. So I will have a coefficient of a negative 25 and my base of a will be raised to the 8th power because 10 minus 2 is that 8. Let's look at one more. A monomial divided by a monomial. And so I have a negative 34, p to the 10th, q to the 11th, and I want to divide that by a negative 17, p, q to the 9th. So these two coefficients, a negative divided by a negative is positive, and 17 goes into here once and into here two times. This one has an exponent of 1. So these have like bases, and 10 minus 1 is 9. That will be a p to the 9th power. Let's start writing down our answer. So we have a positive 2, p to the 10 minus 1 is 9, and then q, 11 minus 9 is 2. We won't focus on negative exponents when dividing. Would you always say to yourself, the property for division requires that I take the exponent in the numerator and subtract the exponent in the denominator when the bases are alike. Please go in that order from top to bottom. Let's now divide a polynomial by a monomial. Here's an example of a problem, and I'm going to show you two ways that it might be written. 15t cubed plus 24t squared minus 6t divided by 3t. That's one way this problem might be written. Another way we might write this very same problem is 15t cubed plus 24t squared minus 6t. That trinomial divided by a monomial of 3t. Watch for it looking the same way. The bottom line is this, mon this monomial belongs to that term, it belongs to that term, and it belongs to that term. I highly suggest you write it down that way so you simplify it accordingly. So you'll take the 15t cubed, and it has to be divided by the 3t. Then the 24t squared has to be divided by the 3t. And then the minus 6t has to be divided by the 3t. The 3t belongs to every term in the numerator. And now you go ahead and reduce. So 3 goes into here once and into here 5 times. And t to the third divided by t to the first is t to the second. So you have 5t squared. 3 divides into here once and into here 8 times. So you have an 8. And t to the second divided by t to the first is t to the first, because I'm subtracting their exponents. 
and 3 goes into here once and into here twice, and t over t is equal to 1, the variable portion is gone, so I have left a minus 2 right there. I'm going to close here in terms of a monomial divided by a monomial and a polynomial divided by a monomial. I'd like to move on to a polynomial divided by a polynomial in the next segment.